So welcome guys. Um, welcome to um, this tutorial video and um, I'll be showing you how to make an hotel management system. And um, before that, uh, I want you to check out my YouTube account and subscribe for more videos. Um, there will be more videos coming up, so make sure you subscribe and uh, click the notification button so that you'll be I'll never upload a new video. So, um, basically, we have an hotel management system with an online booking system. Um, this uh, I did this with, uh, with some packages. I used some packages when building this package, and I'm going to show you the packages. Uh, I use front of zone, admin light, bootstrap view, moments, number, suite alert, v form. So basically, I use most of this package as yours, jQuery. And for the uh, vendor folder, I used some packages as well. Um, Laravel permission, Laravel, Paystack. Um, yeah, those are the um, additional packages I added to the project. So uh, I have a user management system right here, which allows me to create, uh, add a new user. I can create a new user. Uh, I can create a new user. So this will be uh, Shola, that's my name. So uh, let's say Shola at gmail.com. Let's give it a random phone number. Then I can assign a rule for him. So before I do that, let's go to permissions. Now you can create a new permission using this package called Laravel permission by splices. And uh, you can create a new permission like uh, create rules. So this is a permission. Then you can come to roles and add new rules. So you can say this is a super admin. Super admin. Um, give it that room that we just created. So that's it. Uh, the role is created. So if I should now create, if I should create a user that. I want to use the um, let's just say super admin and uh, let me say s s admin sorry I missed that at gmail.com I just say give it a random phone number that it must be a number you can see the row and I can give it a password of password so create that user is I created now. I have a spot me with this. Then I can log in. I can log in with this right now because it is super admin. The role of the super admin. So, well. then uh, what I can do is uh, what else I did was uh, the ability to generate room categories. Now, when I say room category is just uh, in a hotel, we can have a single room, we can have a double room, we can have a master bedroom, uh, we can have a, a different types of view, like the ocean view, uh, and the rest, the garden view, and the rest of it. So I gave it, I gave uh, the admin an ability to be able to create uh, that kind of, that kind of um, room category. Let's just call this room, uh, Master, uh, let's just say um, double standard bedroom. Or you can call it a luxurious room, anything you want. And I'll give it uh, testing data, a price of like 50,000 Naira. This Nigeria would use. Uh, we use Naira in Nigeria, so 50,000 Naira. So uh, you can add a picture to it. I have, a, I have some bunch of photos here. So creating this. Wait. Yeah, we have that. And now. 
this. So I'm using I'm using this package called Azios. Azios, uh, this package. Yeah, Azios. I'm using the package to send my request, my HTTP request, and the rest of it. And you can check. You can see how that goes right here. Um, you come to network. Um, refresh this page. Yeah, so I'm using Asios to send and get the request from my um, from the Laravel backend, and you can also create new rooms. I can edit if you feel like, and you did a mistake, you can come back and edit, edit it, and uh, click on update. So you can create new rooms. Now, each when you're creating rooms, uh, the whole idea for this is just that in the hotel we can have more than two standard um, bedroom you can have more than one you can have two you can have three so you just create the numbers of whom you are for example um let me create this say room 35 this is a double standard room um standard room and uh, you actually see standard room status yes or no yes for is available no is for it's not available someone is currently lodging in that room and you can use it so save room and you have it now you can also create another one 58 let's say testing data and now uh, this will be also why this is available, the other is not available. So that's why I mean the other time. You can have more than one room that is a double standard bedroom. So one is available, one is not. So mainly looking at this, you know, is available or not, and you can delete. You can to prompt. Are you sure you want to remove this? Okay. Deleted. You can edit it. Uh, you, you can view it. So that's it. And I also have notification. This notification is uh, whenever you make uh, a booking, it alerts you, tells you uh, you have notification, and you can mark all as read and do whatever you want with it. So notification marked as read. So again, so we have booking system. This is the main and uh, the main part of this video, and in this online booking system, you can view the page on a paid um, booking you can view on paid booking like this booking is on paid for and uh, i can add a new booking i can say the booking belongs to mr shola Paul. that's my name by the way gmail.com seven zero random so the type of room i want to book is just really cost me 50k so that's still good <laughs> testing data and uh checking the checking i'm checking out two days later so it tells me i'm using two days and if i to change it five days so um numbers of room you can notice the price changes uh, if i'm increasing the numbers of room or i'm increasing the numbers of days i want to spend so if i'm spending money so that means I'm spending three million on Nera for eleven days booking six rooms. So if I save this, booking has been created. So I can also change uh, my password and do the rest. So basically, this uh, this is everything I did so far. I'm hoping I'll add more functions to this, but I don't think I don't think I'll be doing this, but uh, who knows? So you can check my website. Uh, I already have it on my website. You can check it I already. Uh, already, if you want to work on this or you want to use it in your project uh, or do something similar to this, you can just uh, go to the GitHub. I already have the project up there running, and you can go there and uh, and download. And download the project and come to my website, run npm 
Composer install. Uh, okay, you can run npm Composer install. Uh, run npm install the migration. Then the username is admin.com and the password is password. This is the type where I'm going to change it. And uh, you can follow me on social media. Follow me on Twitter, it's code. Code it me, Instagram, code it me. So I see you in later videos. I'm hoping to be making more videos right now. But this is just actually my first video. So I hope you, I hope you, uh, this video has been really informative to you. So if you have any questions, ask me in the uh, comment section. I'll be, I'll reply to you.